What's up, guys? It's 2026, and you probably have some goals for the new year. Whether that's getting more organized, being more productive, or starting that project you've been meaning to. Nothing kills motivation more than a slow PC. If your computer feels sluggish, maybe it's slow to boot or slow when you open a new tab, don't go buy a new computer just yet. 90% of the time, it's actually not the hardware. Today, I'm going to walk you through a complete safe step-by-step -step guide on how to optimize your Windows PC. Whether it's a laptop or a desktop, we're going to get that bad boy running like it's brand new again for the new year. Let's jump in. Hey. Checking the logic. Checking the, logic. the very first thing, and this is probably one of the most important things, is updates. You want to make sure your device is updated. Now, 90% of the people think, oh, go into Windows, update it, you're good to go. That's actually the first step. And there are two additional steps you want to take. There's basically three methods to keep your device updated, and you want to do all three. The first way is Windows updates. Now, if you've ran your Windows updates and you're having monitor issues still or docking station or headphone issues, or maybe it's not printing or something like that, you've got to use the update tool that came with your hardware, or you'll have to manually install it and run that. So... To start out with, just go ahead and check your updates. And to do that, you right click your Windows icon, Settings, Windows Updates, and you check for updates. Go ahead and turn that on too if you, if you don't have it on already <clears throat> to keep your device updated. Now, Windows doesn't play well with some hardware updates like your BIOS updates and things like that. But if it does pick it up, you're going to see it here in Advanced options now if you click on this you'll see optional updates now these are important updates and it sucks that windows likes to hide it in here but you definitely want to check these if you're having like monitor issues it's flickering or not coming on at all or keyboard mouse or headphone issues go ahead and check this bad boy right here it'll tell you how many you have available in my case i don't have any available right now but say you're having monitor issues. your monitor is flickering or it won't come on at all but you have it connected to your laptop or your desktop, but it's just not working. You see the light on the monitor on, you know they're both plugged in, it was working fine yesterday. This is most likely gonna come down to a missing update. Now, if you've ran your Windows updates and your optional updates and you still are having issues with it, of course, naturally, reboot. But if that doesn't fix it, check your update tool, your hardware update tool. So I have an MSI motherboard, but you might have Dell or Lenovo or HP, no matter what it is, you can use the update tool provided by that company. So let's say we have a Dell. If we have a Dell, just in your search bar, search for Dell. It's going to be named the Dell Command Update. Just click on that, open it, and run it. 